Want an inexpensive desktop computer but don't know how to set it up? Let me show you how. Welcome back to the Mini PC Tech Channel, where we talk about all things Mini PC. This is Mike, your host. I am a retired engineer with over four decades of experience in software, electronics and cybersecurity. And I own and manage five Mini PCs. A Mini PC is a small form full function computer with nothing attached to it. It's small so it can be put in a drawer or mounted behind a computer monitor. It's full function so you can run Windows or Linux just like the big computers. It's also a lot less expensive than a laptop or desktop computer. And you're not tied into a keyboard or monitor like a laptop so those can be changed and upgraded as needed. So what's the catch? Internal upgrades are limited. CPU is almost never upgradable. Some allow memory or storage upgrades. If you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you always get the latest videos when they come out. So the first thing you should do is connect power and basic peripherals. Keyboard and mouse through USB ports. Some kind of monitor through an HDMI port. I have a whole video on how to use HDMI. Links in the description. Don't connect to a network just yet. Wait until you're prompted to do so. Why aren't I using wireless keyboards and mice? On minis other than the Mac Mini, most won't recognize them on first boot. I keep the USB keyboard and mouse around just for this purpose. I have links to inexpensive ones in the description below. Once the three peripherals are connected, push the power button. It will go through an initial setup like username, password, location and so forth. Once it boots up, connect to the internet. Now you should check the computer for updates. On a Windows 11 computer, Put the word, updates, in the search box at the bottom on the window and select, check for updates, from the list. The mini may have been sitting on a shelf for a while and need more than a few updates. Once you get through this, you can start using a wireless mouse and keyboard and install whatever software you want to use. It's at this point I would recommend putting the computer wherever it is going to be if it's not going to just be sitting on a desk. Many minis like the BMAX B1 Pro come with Visa mounts or you can buy one for them online. But you may have to fiddle with the computer a little so it's good to do initial setup with it right in front of you. I have a video showing me setting up a BMAX B1 Pro Mini in the description. This is a great little mini if all you want is to surf the web, create documents, watch videos and send emails. There is a link to it in the description below. To wrap it up, it's not hard to use a mini PC as a desktop. You just have to go through the steps. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, this is Mike, signing off from the Mini PC Tech Channel.